The Indian Defense Minister and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin have decided to expand India-U.S. defense and security cooperation, military-to-military -military engagement, information sharing, artificial intelligence and logistics support, and give India the access to advanced technologies to meet the Indo-Pacific challenge. Lloyd Austin also met the National Security Advisor Rajit Doval and Prime Minister Modi. And he also reiterated Biden administration's strong desire to further enhance defense and strategic partnership. Legal ambiguity as well as technical issues is holding up the issuance of the request for proposal for Project 75I, and the proposed strategic partner structure is leading to contractual challenges. There are two Indian competitors Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders and Larsen and Tubro, and four foreign original equipment manufacturers, and under the proposed strategic partner structure, one of the four foreign manufacturers can influence the Indian companies to eliminate the remaining three low-cost foreign manufacturers by giving a favorable business deal, and this type of elimination process can also increase the cost of the project significantly, and will also limit the chance for the Navy. In case of underperformance related to technology transfer, it is yet to be decided that who can be held responsible, the Indian strategic partner, or foreign manufacturer. The DRDO had recently carried out a flight demonstration based on the SFDR technology from its integrated test range, and now officials have confirmed that there will be two separate air-to-air -air missiles derived from the SFDR project. The first will be a long-range tactical air-to-air -air missile like the Meteor, and the second will be an ultra-long-range anti-OAX missile, that will also be equipped on the Super Shukhoi's. <laughs> India has issued an OTAM warning for an area of 12,232 square nautical miles for the period between 26th to 27th March, as the Indian Navy will conduct weapon firing tests from the strategic Karnakobar Island. The area warning mentions upper ceiling of 60,000 feet, which is similar to the flight ceiling of the Brahmos naval variant. The Ordnance Factory Board has received a repeat order to supply 5.56 by 45 mm NATO ammunition to the US civilian market. Since the first order was supplied on time and was of the right quality, the US-based retailer has placed a repeat order with the Ordnance Factory to supply the same quantity. After the Chinese plan to acquire the Ukrainian jet engine manufacturer Motors which has effectively been thwarted by the Biden administration, experts have urged India to procure a controlling stake in the company. Turkish president recently visited Ukraine and extended $40 million for Ukrainian assistance for engine development in Turkey's TFX fifth generation fighter project and engines for the Attack 2 Heavy Class Combat Helicopter, and launching a joint long-range drone program, which can later be offered to Pakistan. <laughs> Top analysts have said, that the export of Brahmo's missile to Philippines Army, would result in a big boost to the credibility of India as a defense exporter, and will also elevate its stature as a regional superpower and would be a strong message to China, which is worried of the Southeast Asian nations acquiring anti-ship systems such as the Brahmos. They also said, that the Philippines order will result in more orders by countries such as Vietnam, Indonesia, Argentina and the United Arab Emirates. Hindustan Aeronautics has delivered two advanced light helicopters Mark III to the Indian Coast Guard that features full glass cockpit with integrated architecture display system, nose-mounted surveillance radar with 270-degree coverage, multispectral electro-optic pod for reconnaissance surveillance and target acquisition, more powerful Sakti engines, 12.7mm cabin-mounted machine gun, latest generation avionics and advanced sensors. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defense has said that the corporatization of Ordnance Factory will improve the quality of its products and expand its market. The Defense Ministry had hired a consultancy firm last year, and the study is currently underway, 
after which the consultancy will suggest organizational structural improvements and business continuity plan for the new entity or entities. Indian Air Force's women pilots are already operating the MiG-21 Su-30 and Rafale fighter jet, and now the Indian Air Force is set to assign one of its women fighter pilots to a MiG-29 squadron for the first time. A top official has said, that there is no difference in the performance of male or female fighter pilots, and they are assigned to fighter squadrons according to laid down norms and standard, and it has nothing to do with gender. Oh, Mark, drop it.